Hey y'all, what's up? So, <clears throat> I haven't been out here in a minute and um, I'm on my way to church. But it's just been something heavy on me for the past week. And I know it's gonna sound a little weird, but just, just listen to what I'm saying. So, I am a, every day, I probably buy something, 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 something. Every day, every day, every day. And I don't know, I don't even know what it is that, that compels me to buy something, to shop. So the other day, and I'm going somewhere, y'all, just please, just bear with me. Um, and just to put a caveat on this, not bragging, not boasting, not doing none of that, but just listen. So every day... And I don't know if it's because I'm bored um, <clears throat> during a time where I just kind of get online and buy something. Or I don't know if it's the, the, the pop-ups that come up. I don't know what it is, y'all. But every day, I buy something. I don't care if it's a pair of shoes. It could be a, 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 a bracelet. It could be uh, something for my hair. It, but it's always something. So it could be a dress, it could be a watch, it could be anything. Like it's crazy. So the other day I'm just sitting and I'm I'm in my TV room and, and I'm watching TV and I pick up my phone and y'all whoever know me know I love, I love Nordstroms. Nordstroms, I love Nordstroms. So Nordstroms pop up, oh 25% off the sales. So I go online. And I'm looking for something to buy. Yeah, I'm looking for something to buy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Looking for something to buy. When you got more than enough stuff and you just looking for something to buy. And yeah, when I say more than enough stuff, I mean more than enough stuff. And, 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 and emphasis on stuff. Y'all, stuff is not enough. Stuff ain't enough. You know, I just been really really meditating on the word of god and you know you feel like you have enough you have the relationship you have the house you have the car you have the career you have the things but it'll never be enough y'all so if you are chasing something if you are trying to get hold of something that's not God if, if, if you are constantly on the search for something greater something more, something better um, something else yeah that's a problem it's a problem and I'm talking to myself and I love the Lord and, 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 and all those things but I had to ask myself why are you constantly out here looking at shoes when you got 9,999 pair of shoes shoes that you ain't even wore Shoes that you could not even wear in a lifetime. Why are you on here just looking for some shoes? You see all the shoes that you're looking at, you're like, oh, no, nah, I got something like that. No, nah, that, mm -mm. I don't care how expensive they are. I don't care what they look like. You got something like it. Get off of here searching and looking for stuff. Y'all, it was a watch. And I was going to buy the watch. And I was like, but I already got this watch. But I was like, but I got it in a different, it's a different look. But I was like, for the price, I have to buy it because these are some really expensive watches. And if I get it for this price because it's on Nordstrom's, then that's a win. And I just have two different styles. God said, stop playing with me. It is people out here who is sick. It is people out here who is dying. It is people out here who is going through uh, trials and tribulations trauma it is people out here who is scraping to survive it is people out here who is homeless and hungry it is people out here who is is depressed and oppressed who is starving mentally emotionally physically financially and you're telling me that you're about to buy a watch that you already have because you feel like it's a discount 
and it's another kind of style are you kidding me Tammy Hinkle Davis and I had to repent y'all God is not playing with us God will not be mocked and God will not be taken advantage of all the things that he's given us all the stuff that means nothing because it is going to wilter it is going to dry rot it is going to turn it is going to do all the things I don't care those diamonds though that gold you going to either have to leave it to somebody else because when you are gone it is going to just be stuff and junk that people are going to have to savage through and sort through and donate and give away Y'all, I'm preaching to me. And again, I'm not bragging. I'm not boasting, y'all. But when I tell you, if you were to come in my closet, you could literally go shopping. Bring a shopping bag. And it still will have the tags on it. My husband is not a shopper. I have to buy him stuff because he it, it's irrelevant to him. He's just classic and conservative, and it's just irrelevant. He ain't trying to keep up. He don't care nothing about what nobody got. And granted, he, 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 he has nice things, but I have to buy them because he won't buy nothing for himself. He rather invested in real estate or invested in stocks or do something like that. But when I tell y'all, it's a problem, y'all. People are dying. It is nothing more valuable than health and strength and peace because all that other stuff means nothing. And God told me on this week, he said, stop. Whatever it is that you feel like you lack as a child or you lack as a kid or, or you are uh, deficient in, I am the answer. Not another pair of shoes not another watch, not another lipstick, not another accessory, her accessory, not another hat, not another purse, not another coat, not who buys coats in the summertime just because. Like God is saying, stop. Not another bracelet. God is saying, stop. In my husband's voice, I don't care if it's on sale, you, you just because it's thirty dollars and it was three hundred dollars, you gonna buy thirty of them? No, stop, y'all. That's it. That's all. Tammy Hinkle Davis.